Hey, welcome everybody. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and this is the weekend of March 10th. Now, what I do on all these shows is I focus in on hot OTC and penny stocks. I'm looking for stocks that have potential that I can share with you. Well, I found one last week, but I didn't have time to cover. Just too many things on my agenda. Ticker BCAN, Beyond Canisoft Enterprises. This company caught my attention because of the news that came out. Very interesting news. However, when I looked at the chart, it was not impressive. It was flat for a long time at about 450, had a bounce, and then fell down to the 250 range. But that bounce... That bounce is what caught my attention. It bounced from $4.50 to $25 and then came right back down. Then it had another bounce last Tuesday. Both bounces, the one in September and the one on Tuesday, were about the same thing. The deal they had made with this company and had gotten this patented device that came along with the deal. So the company finished on Friday at $2.68 with a huge fall of over 35%. Now we have no description here and it is important that you know what this company does because they do a lot of things. They work with software, they work with CBD oil and as I said they've got a new product that is breaking them into a new sector. Matter of fact the best place to get this information about the company is from a shareholder letter that came out in December. God, I love these letters to shareholders. Got to be one of my favorite news presses to read. They're so enlightening. This is a great opportunity for the insiders, the management, to talk to their investors, not at us, but to us. This is a place where they can highlight all of their accomplishments from the past year and then share their dreams on what they have planned for the next year. So it's very relevant, very explicit. So the first thing they want to let us know is that they just uplisted in May of last year to the NASDAQ. Now these last eight months have been brutal on the market, but they've done pretty well. Their market cap has increased from 100 million to 150 million. That's a 50% increase. Now the company has a variety of products and we're going to cover those right now real briefly. Their primary product is actually a software as a service. It is a CRM, that is a customer relationship management program. And they've been working with this for a while. Now they have two of them. The Benefit CRM program, which is for all businesses in all sectors. And then they have just created one for the cannabis market. So they tell us here that Canisoft owns and markets that proprietary customer relationship management software product that they call Benefit CRM. It is a cloud-based software that enables small and medium-sized businesses to optimize their day-to-day -day business activities, such as sales management and personal management, marketing and call center activities, and asset management. Canisoft's next generation platform is now ready for beta testing, and throughout 2022, they were increasing their volume of customers and sales for the program. Then they decided they wanted to do this just for the cannabis market. Building on 20 years of experience on the CRM software, Canisoft has recently begun the development of an innovative new CRM platform explicitly designed to serve the needs of the medical cannabis industry. Now there's a huge difference between medicinal cannabis and recreational cannabis. One, you don't need a prescription, a license, any permission to smoke it recreationally. Medicinally, you have to get a prescription. And the second one, recreational cannabis is a lot cheaper than medicinal cannabis. Medicinal cannabis is considered a medicine and they charge for it like that. It is expected that this new platform will be the first for the medical cannabis field. We believe this new platform could potentially turn the cannabis industry into a more organized and accessible and price transparent market Boy, wouldn't that be nice to know the prices on this cannabis from around. Beyond Canisoft announced in September, it had signed an agreement with the Wiseman Institute of Science for a beta version of this new software. The beta version will include specific programs just for the cannabis industry so that they can help manage their farms and greenhouses. The Wiseman Institute of Science is one of the world's leading institutions in the natural and exact sciences. It has pioneered research using CBD to treat conditions as diverse as glaucoma, Parkinson's disease, 
chemotherapy side effects, MS and Crohn's disease, while using advanced tools like CRISPR gene editing to understand cannabis further. They're getting quite deep into this. So they've got two software programs, one for everybody to help them manage their business, and then one just for the cannabis industry. But this is only for medicinal cannabis, not recreational. Now this is where it's going to get a little interesting. <laughs> they have two very unique products that they are coming out with right now. They have got patents on these. Things should start to develop. The first one is called the EZG, as in G-spot on a woman. One of our most surprising developments of 2022 is our purchase 100% ownership of Ziggy Carmel Initiatives and Investments and their patent-pending intellectual property for the EZG device. The EZG device is a therapeutic device that uses low concentrations of CBD oils, such as hemp seed oil and other natural oils, to treat certain women's health issues. This acquisition was paramount in increasing the assets of our company by 494% to $33 million. More specifically, the EZG device is a unique patent pending device that combined with proprietary software regulates the flow of low concentration CBD oils into the soft tissues of the female productive system. According to research conducted across the globe, treatment with low concentration CBD oils can relieve candida, dryness, scars, and many other female issues. Now the news press leads us to believe that the EZG is a medical device. <laughs> but that's not how they're advertising it. They are advertising EZG as a smart sex toy. I've got a great article here to share with you. This came from Investors Observer, came out January 20th of this year. And I do want to go through this with you because it's a whole different look at the EZG. Smart sex toy that uses CBD capsules has patent application. A patented sex toy that uses cannabis capsules? Welcome to 2023. An Israeli cannabis company, Beyond Canisoft Enterprises, filed a patent in Israel and the United States January 5th and January 6th for this item. The EZG is pretty high tech with Bluetooth and artificial intelligence capabilities. While it is mostly billed as a way to deliver CBD for women experiencing various ailments in their lady parts, it is also a smart sex toy. According to the company statement, the EZG device prototype uses sensors like pressure sensor, temperature sensor, conductivity sensor, and heart rate sensors to determine what specifically enhances the user's pleasure. I'm liking the way they're using AI now. The EZG device uses artificial intelligence to transmit and receive data from the device's sensors on condition of the user's sexual organs, such as moisture levels and pressure variations due to muscle contractions. Bluetooth can be accessed through an app on a smartphone or other portable device to collect information about preferences and generate custom programs. <laughs> I can just see this. Hun, can I see your phone for a minute? Oh, so that's what you like. You know, this, this could be very helpful. Uh, they go on to tell us that Beyond says the data collected from the sensors is uploaded to a secure cloud where it is combined with other anonymous users' preferences including the actual duration of the operation of the adult device, lubrication level, and the ideal vibration level. The EZG device is so smart that it can use to collect the data and improve its operations to bring the user sexual satisfaction. The EZG device has evolved to provide treatment relief from sexual mental problems, including the ability to have intercourse as it relates to anxiety and physical pain. The device is capable of enhancing sexual pleasure and reducing sexual pain by dispensing low concentrations of CBD oil lubricant in a controlled manner. It could be configured to use disposable capsules that include the CBD lubricant which could be dispensed in accordance with the data collected by the sensors. The sale of these disposable capsules containing the CBD lubricant would provide Canisoft with a revenue model much like a razor and the razor blade. Lest you think the device is only meant for the bedroom, think again. Beyond suggests that the EZG could be a wearable sex toy, out of the house, on the bus, in your car, at work. 
Apparently, there is an emerging trend in wearable sex toys for the thrill of clandestine public stimulation. Okay, now let's take a look at their second product, more for the man, but also for the lady. As you've probably already guessed, their second product is also involved with sexual activities. They inform us here that the global market for condoms is about $11 billion. $11 billion a year in condoms. Well, I guess that just goes to show you that since the invention of plastic, we still need rubber. <laughs> And we believe demand is strong for new products. We expanded our patent for the EZG device to include an innovative double faceted condom design with a double pocket containing lubricant to heighten both partners' sexual pleasure. And I actually found a news press on this. This came out December 1st. They tell us here that Beyond Canisoft intends to design a double faceted condom to enhance pleasure and comfort while increasing the use of protection during sex and lowering the number of sexually transmitted infections. According to the patent application, the condom will have a double pocket that will contain a lubricant that is released evenly when used. The advantage of this type of condom is the possibility of diluting the lubricants with natural oils, such as CBD, at low concentrations. The oil will be evenly dispersed, which is designed to alleviate difficulties in intimate relationships and increase pleasure for both partners. In addition to that, if the patent is granted, this is going to allow the company to enter in an entirely different market, the sex toy market, which is worth $62 billion. Both of these developments result from the pump action on the EZG device. <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, I know how it reads, but I'm sure they don't intend for us to think that that little green pump that's on the EZG has been integrated into the condo as well. No, I'm sure what it really is is like a rib, a little pocket where some CBD oil has been injected into these bubbles around the condom and as it's pushed, it is excreted. That's what I'm believing it is. Then they tell us they have rounded out 2022 by strengthening their balance sheet, increasing their gross margins and reducing expenses. So they got their eyes on their financials and it sounds like they're going in the right direction. And then we've got a nice segue here into the last thing that they're doing. We made significant advancements in the licensing process for our trade in medical cannabis. That's what they're aiming towards right now. They're building a farm, they're growing their own cannabis, and they're going to sell to that medicinal market. And I found a news press here. This came out February 6th. They got their license. They got what they were working for at the end of 2022. They have now received it just about a month ago. Israel Ministry of Health has granted Beyond Canisoft Enterprises a license to engage in medical cannabis without direct contact with the substance. Not an easy license to get. Basically, this company has made a deal with another company that does have a license to touch the cannabis, and they do all the touching, but this company runs the business. And that business, well, in Israel, it has approximately 150,000 users. I know you're thinking that's not very big and it isn't, but look how much money that generated. Half a billion dollars in one year, just 150,000 users. That's the difference between medical cannabis and recreational cannabis, the price. So just the 150,000 users generated this much. And once they got their license, they said they already had products to sell. Now, I couldn't find a whole lot of information, but there is a lot of news out there. But they say that once they got their license, they believe they could captivate 3% of the market, and that translates into about 15 million US dollars. Now, what surprised me is, is I couldn't find any information about their farm, where they're growing it. Not in this news press. I had to go all the way back to September 19th, and it wasn't even in the news press. It was down at the bottom. It was just part of the description of what the company does. And they told us down here that the company intends to construct a 3.7 acre farm facility in Israel to grow medical cannabis. The company plans to build four state-of-the-art greenhouses, which will cover about 2.5 acres, and they'll be able to produce 7.5 thousand kilos of marijuana. That's well over 15,000 pounds. 
Beyond also intends to work with strategic partners to develop and market new proprietary cannabis infused products for sale throughout Israel and for export. Now that sounds to me like not medicinal. That sounds recreational there to me, proprietary cannabis infused products. I don't think, I mean, it could be medicinal, but it kind of sounds recreational to me. So the company's got a lot of things they're doing. They have their software programs that work outside of the cannabis arena and the new one that they're bringing into the cannabis arena. And that program is going to help them open up doors to get into the market, to know what to sell, where to sell, how to get in touch with people through their own program. So they're gonna make use of that first hand data to build their business. Now that we know what the company does, how they make their money and how they plan to make more money and what they did last year, let's take a look at what their plans are for 2023. They tell us here that they are focusing on several critical corporate milestones. First, they want to complete the patent registration for their EZG and their condom. That's done. January 5th, and January 6th in Israel and the United States. Tick completed. The next one on the list, we look forward to completing the procedures for obtaining a license to trade medical cannabis. Tick, that's done too. Guys, you gotta love a company that doesn't sit around waiting. They get out there and get things done. Additionally, we intend to generate significant revenues and profits from the realization and the completion of our production and distribution agreement with pharmacies in Israel. We plan to expand our production and distribution by opening additional markets for our medical cannabis products, mainly in the United Kingdom and Germany. Now this is a big deal, folks. Germany is kind of the center hub for Europe. You bring your cannabis there, Germany will spread it out around cannabis. So you can get into Germany, you're getting into Europe. Uh, we also intend to complete the beta version of the cannabis software and expand our level of research and development with the prestigious organization. Uh, who is that? Wiseman. Wiseman they're working with. And finally, they are going to continue trying to locate companies that have synergistic value that they can connect with and give us more shareholder value. So what sort of money is this company making? What sort of relative volume have they got right now? I haven't got a clue, so let's go find out. Ooh, what a waste of good volume. We had like 400% increase on Friday, jumping from 144,000 shares a day for the last 30 days to 645,000 shares just on Friday. Wow, what an explosion. Shame it didn't help us any. Huge drop of 35%. Share structure for BCAN. Outstanding shares. Pretty decent. We got 37.8 million outstanding shares. We have no float given to us here, and I really can't find it in a major exchange financial. They just don't give it to us. So we've only got one option to find that float, and that is to run over to Google. I put in the ticker, I put in the company name, and I put in the word float. This is what I come up with. Really? 1.1 million shares in the float? Too good to be true. Keep going. Here's another one. 1.1. Any more? 1.1. So I can't guarantee that this is the float, but this is all the information we have, and every number we found is in agreement. So it looks like we have a super duper, really nice, incredibly low float of 1.1 million shares. Financials for BCAN. Well, we have no information on the annual, nothing on the quarterly, nothing on the balance sheet. So let's jump into their most recent financial report. This came out the third quarter of 2022 and it's gonna compare itself to the third quarter of 2021. Now keep in mind, we just read news about them getting their medicinal cannabis license in Israel, a market worth a half a billion dollars. And they say that they can claim 3% of it, which is $15 million. Well, between 2021 and 2022, their revenues increased 10% from $207,000 to $227,000. So going from roughly a quarter million to 15 million would be a huge increase. Gross profits over the year increased 58%, while their net losses decreased 79%. That's exactly what you want. Profits to go up, losses to go down. 
Working capital has decreased from 3.1 million from 5.4 million. That's not all that great. But what is great is their assets. They have exploded over the last year. Last year, they had $7.4 million in assets. Right now, they are at $44.4 million worth of assets. So they are growing at a strong rate. We just don't see it in the revenues yet, but their assets are getting larger. Taking a look at that news. At first glance, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot going on here, but You've got to remember, this is a major exchange stock on the NASDAQ, and we're looking for information on the otcsmarket.com website. So you almost have to expect occasionally for there to be gaps in the information concerning major exchange stocks. Now, it appears that there is no news here dedicated to the company. This is where we put the news just on this company. Down here, this is news they import from other places online about the company and their competitors. Now, some of the news here is about them. The CEO letter to the shareholders, we got that one here. And we have the medical cannabis license news that just came out. But is there any more news? Sure there is. But before you go running to Google, going into an expedition, looking and looking, run over to the company's website first. A lot of these companies like to list all of their press releases, and they did here. I am over here at canasoft-crm.com. Right there is the link to all of their news presses, and woo, look how many they got. They got lots of news here, folks. Goes all the way back here to March 30th, 2021. Oh, you can't see that, can you? No. Trust me, though. It's right up under there, and I can feel it. What a nuisance. Let's come back up here. Now, I have been going through each one of these, reading what they have got going on. That's a pain that we don't have headlines here, and we've only got the dates. So I've been jumping into them, and most of them we've touched on to one one way or the other, but there are a couple pieces of news here I want to share with you. These news presses we're going to take a look at, we've already generally covered in the shareholders update letter, but there's a few key details that they didn't mention that I think are important to know. This news press, it came out October 27th. This is back when they made a deal with Globus Pharma, which is owned by Together Pharma. They tell us down here that Beyond Canisoft Enterprises signed an agreement with Globus Pharma for the cultivation, production, and distribution of medical cannabis products that are expected to generate significant revenues for the company, $15 million, so they claim. These products will be exclusively marketed and distributed by Beyond Canisoft in Israel through Globus Pharma. Beyond Canisoft's agreement with Together Pharma will take effect upon the issuance of a full license by the Medical Cannabis Unit at the Ministry of Health of the State of Israel. They got their license. The deal is complete. So this is now being implemented. They're going to get their medicinal cannabis into the pharmacies and start making some money. The other news press. This last news press we're taking a look at came out September 19th of last year. This is when the company acquired 100% ownership of Ziggy Carmel Initiatives, and they also acquired that patent-pending therapeutic device, the EZG. Now, what's important in this news press are the terms of the deal. The company, when they made this deal, they issued 7.9 million shares to ZC at a cost of $4.73 a share. Back in September, this was worth $4.73 to the company, and right now we're at $2.68. And things are only getting better. They've got their patents. They've got their license. Their products are going out on the market now. I see a huge gap between $2.68 and $4.73 that we may be able to capture. We're going to do some charting now for BCAN, and we're going to do our charting on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. I got this when I signed up with TD Ameritrade. So can you. So this is a six-month, four-hour view. We've really only got two decent jumps here. We got one here and one here, and that's where the volume shows up, and they're both for the same thing. Here on September 19th, she jumped on the news that came out September 18th. They had made a deal with Ziggy Initiatives and acquired this smart sex toy, the EZG. She jumped from just under $5 up to $25 in one day. 
Talk about excitement. This is a cannabis company dealing with a smart sex toy and that's when they get their jump. We don't see any more volume here except right here, which is again about the EZG. This is when the news just came out about them patenting it in Israel and the United States. But that's the only place we see any excitement. Nothing here in the middle about selling cannabis. So she came down off that $25 high hard and fast, came below where she started, hit a low here of $2.11 and since time has been going sideways the hard way, up and down over this 200 day SMA. And right here is where the news came out that they had patented their sex toy and she jumped from $2.15 up to $6. Do you see these jumps we're getting from two to six, from five to 25? There is a lot of excitement around this smart sex toy. We had a huge dump on Thursday and Friday. She came down from that six all the way back down to $2.68. And the only thing that looks good here is that the volume is starting to come back in. Everything else looks really bad. Our PPO, Percentage price oscillator, a lot like the MACD, read them the same. They're barreling down. This one's doing a crossover on the pink line. This one's doing a crossover on the signal line. And they're pushing down fast and furious. Our RSI is not looking good. It is right now at 39 and 30 is the floor. And she looks like she's still falling too. 20 day, one hour view. Going sideways here on our 200. Hit this low of $2.23, hit our high of six, and has barreled back down underneath every single SMA. She is under the nine day SMA, and it doesn't look like she's ready to come up yet. All of our technicals are still pushing down. Ooh, we are bouncing off of the floor right now with our RSI. This could be a good buying opportunity. You do want to buy it cheap, but you don't want to buy it while it's still falling. You want to wait for it to start coming up. You might miss a little bit off the floor, but that's called insurance. That's confirmation. You know she's changed directions. Looking at our five day, five minute view. Well, she started the week off nicely. She was down here at $2.45 and for three days she ran from 250 up to six bucks. And then she crashed hard. She fell all the way down here to $2.68 at the close of Friday, but after market she fell even further and is down at $2.39. She is trying to get up over that 50. Our 200 is finally calming down. Our 50 has gotten flat. She fell under the 50, hitting that low, has bounced back up, and it looks like she's sitting right on top of that nine day SMA right now, trying to get on top of her 50, which is totally flat. This is an opportune moment. So everything looks sad, everything has been falling, but we want a good low price. And right now, it looks like she's about ready to start coming up. So I would keep my eye on her. If you're not sure if she's going up or down right now, get yourself a starter position. Get yourself 25, 30% of what it is you want. If she falls, you're going to be able to buy more cheaper and lower your price. If she starts to take off, if you see a bunch of volume coming in, you may want to grab what you can get before she takes off. I like BCAN. She's into cannabis. She is into software helping businesses. And now she's into sex toy market, which isn't exactly what I'm always looking for, but I am trying to diversify. And that is diversification all in one company. And everything is starting right now. BCAN. They say they're into cannabis and they are working with cannabis, but they're working with other things too now. They've got that software program, Benefits, which covers any kind of company, does their bookkeeping, helps run their operations. Then they got that same program that's been tweaked to help the cannabis industry, even help them monitor their grows and their greenhouses. Then they're going to be selling cannabis. That's going to be happening right now. They just got their license from Israel, so they're going to get their products into the pharmacy, start making the big bucks. And then they got the EZG and their condoms. Now they've got patents on them in the US and Israel, so they can sell them in both countries. We haven't heard anything about this yet, but I'm sure we're going to. And that's a whole new market. So they're into software, they're into cannabis, and they're into sex toys. I don't know where they're going, but I would keep my eye on them folks. But of course, do some more due diligence. We did not cover all the news out there. There's a lot more to know. And the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.